Something else I want to highlight, which Rita just referred to, Australia Day. We saw the most disgusting and ongoing linkage of pro-Palestinian activism to pro-Indigenous uh, activities. We saw flags, uh, uh, joining the flags, joining the conversations. I'll oh. be talking about this later, but this is that same oppressor versus oppressed narrative. Mm -hmm. It's infected so many areas to the detriment of our public life. Invasion it, Day protests, Rita? Yes, and it's been evident from the very first pro-Palestinian anti-Israeli protests, yep. this linking of their cause with initially it was it was uh, the voice and yep. and and now it's, it's treaties or Australia whatever. Day yep. treaty and it's the same narrative that you've got this colonial power you've got this oppressor you've got stolen land you've got genocide they use the same buzzwords White always incorrectly White always colonial. incorrectly yeah. um, and it is it, it, and it's the same narrative and it is that neo-Marxist and the, and the joke is the Jews were there first not the Palestinians you morons. But, well, anyway, if anything, but anyway... If anything, if anything, Israel was a decolonial project <laughs> exactly, against the exactly. Ottoman Empire. But the Ottoman Empire apparently was fine. But putting that aside, one last point... Always uh, was, always will be Jewish. Yeah, there you go. What, um, but... Um, one of the things, too, about these Australian protests, you know, I watched footage from them yesterday. They're out there chanting, abolish the state. They're saying things yes. like they literally want to abolish the modern state of Australia. I don't know what alternative they have in mind. And I just think it's pretty interesting that you've got people doing that and, you know, shutting down Parliament House with their protests yesterday and yet or on Friday. They, rather, sorry, sorry, yeah. I'm just interrupting. There on the screen, you are seeing constantly the linkage of pro-Palestinian with pro-Indigenous activities. Now, if I were an Indigenous leader, I would be extremely concerned about that and putting a halt to it very, very quickly. But Sorry Rowan, why is it too? Oh, why is it too though that you know if a bunch of people dress up in balaclavas and carry the Australian flag in North Sydney, which happened on Friday, they get uh, shut down immediately by the police. But the police have so much tolerance for this sort of protest, this sort of anti-Australian, pro-Hamas, anti-Jewish protest, which we mm -hmm. see all the time, you know, they talk about toughening the rules about these sorts of things, and yet we never actually see any action. And you always sort of wonder, politically, who's got the power and here? And also, what are they teaching our kids at school and in universities, uh, even as young as kindergartens? We learned that uh, there was one kindergarten where they were being taught uh, that uh, Australia was on stolen land and it didn't belong to them, so these poor little to toddlers are being told that already they've been disenfranchised from their own country of birth. Uh, it is disgusting. It, it is constant. The narrative is everywhere. Next, uh, just after the ad break, I'm going to uh, talk further about the craziness we've seen during Australia right. Day, particularly from some sporting organisations, yep. and the hypocrisy there is mind-blowing. But it is everywhere. Like t this morning, I landed in Sydney. Uh, it was an international flight, and I got a shock because I didn't get welcomed to my own country for once. <laughs> so, and, it, and it was delightful, in Hurrah, fact. Hurrah, finally, delightful. finally, maybe they're listening to the people who voted 60-40 <laughs> uh, for scrapping well, it all this. Was, it was it but there's a another thing, another part flight. to this, and this is really deeply disturbing. This should worry. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to the Jewish community of Australia. You've got plenty on your plate. But this should also concern you, the news that the Mardi Gras Pride mob, a Sydney gay and lesbian Mardi Gras offshoot group has accused Zionist Jews of being, quote, proud of genocide no. and the mass murder of children. So this is what you sign up to. You sign up to the militant aspects of LGBTI, what blah, 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 blahism, and you are linking with these sorts of, obviously not the entire Mardi Gras pride mob, obviously not the entire LGBTIQ community, but there are elements within that, militant elements, who are quite happy to turn on the Jews and have done so already.